Hey everybody, hello, what's going on? How was your day? This is the second time I'm making this entire video. Like I took the first version of this video and I just said, I'm not uploading that. I got emotional in it. And um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll still talk about the stuff that I got emotional about in it and everything, but I didn't want to upload the first. It was messy. It was messy. So anyway, we're going to try again. Now everything's already been opened. I'm sorry. It's kind of, we're not going to be ripping open bags and taking everything out, but I am going to show you a bunch of stuff that I got from Timu in a big orange bag. Here's the bag on the floor. Can I reach it with my foot? Hold on a second. What did I wear today? I wore this long white blouse with this little, you know, frilly thing on the bottom of it, button down with leggings. And there's a camion under it. And I wore my necklace with my four, they're down in my cleavage, but with my four cats names on them, that means so much to me, that necklace. I didn't really process because I was so nervous. If you caught my haul last night, I was so nervous that, um, about all of it that later I really processed this necklace and I cried and stuff in a good way and like, oh, that kind of a way. Okay, here's my orange bag. I got another orange bag. Maybe they're coming back. Anywho, orange bag. And then I got the nice shiny bags in the orange bag. Okay. Anyway, so that was exciting. All right, my day, don't even get me started on my day, you guys. Just don't get me started. Let's just start first with some simple things before I start trauma dumping all over the place. All right, wait, where did my, um, now look. The first thing I hauled when I made this video was Canadian. Maybe that'll be my thumbnail. Oh! Now, on my thumbnail, you're going to see me wearing a dingy brown cardigan over this. I took that off. I'm I'm cool. I'm casual now. We're just talking. My lips are an unholy shade of pink, but whatever. I blame Dollar Tree. That's a color change lip balm. Okay, let's stop making expressions because I don't I feel like getting Botox right now. Like, I want to get this. Like, look, if I just could get this lifted a little. <gasps> what a difference a lift makes. No, and this spread out a little too. See? Ooh, okay. Stop doing that. All right. Cheese, cheese again. All right. I'm not cheesing very many times in this video, but I got this little alien. Now, I'm not, I really go through all the prices again. <laughs> It took me forever to find prices, you guys, because as usual, Timu split up like four different orders into like, they, they, they took four orders, split them all up, and then put little pieces of each order in one big bag, and it's just, it's just, it's just like that. This alien is $9.16, and so far, this is my favorite one. Um, I mean, I hope that other one over there doesn't get offended. We got Percy somewhere back there silently judging. Oh, no. Percy? There's Percy. Judging me. Okay, so we got that. Now I already feel like I need water. How do I segue into a story? Okay, first let's hydrate. Okay. All right, let's take another. Okay, let me just give me a minute to. Okay, I did this before the video started, but I guess I need to do it again. Okay, another thing I got in this haul was this color is called Purple Coffee Canvas Bag, and it's actually quite nice. 
It's got faux leather patches right here, but they're pretty nice. They're not cheesy. And on the sides. And over here. And it's got some trim too up here. Uh, and the strap, these straps are nice canvas straps. They're not cheesy. It's got a pocket right here. And then these are actually two pockets that open up. And they don't go all the way through. So, I mean, it's not like I can unzip them both and stick my hand all the way through. They're two separate pockets in the front right here. And then in the back, there is a pocket back here, which we love. We love pockets. The inside of it is just a big gaping hole, but it does have another sturdy canvas strap. Then you got the inside with a zippered pocket, typical in your typical slip pockets on this side. But yeah, it's nice. I'm not going to take it. It's not for traveling, but it's fun for kicking around with. And sure, I like it a lot. Okay, so there's that. That was about, I'm going to say, I paid 15, I paid 13, I paid 12 or $13 for it, and I think it's $15 now. I remember being shocked at how much it costs now. I don't remember, though, what order it's in. I can quickly look and see if I can find it because I know everybody out there is like biting their nails, shaking in their chairs and saying, but we can't sleep until we know how much that purse costs. So, okay, I found it. Don't worry, I found it. Okay, I paid $13.49 for it. Why? And it's now fifteen thirty eight. So yeah. Now you can get a gray one. You can get it in gray, which is nice. The gray one is nine dollars and thirty eight cents, which is a great deal. See what I did there with the word gray? All right. Get it out of the glare. Stop it. Everything's glaring at me. Okay, there's there it is. All right. So why am I so kind of tonight? I'm not up and up and up and up. I can I can try to get my energy levels up. I don't know, you guys. Here's what's going on. Now we know my mom is going through it, right? I mean, she's going through it. She's about to start dialysis, and I understand that. She's probably scared, nervous, depressed, whatever you might, I would be if I were about to start dialysis. And yeah, but she's, I, she's taking it out on me. She's being, she's mean. She's gotten really, really mean during the past couple of weeks. And just from morning until night, just mean. Just constantly criticizing and just, and I've said to her, you're, you're just flat out being mean. And we've gotten into some pretty bad, I, I've never started it. Like this morning I came down and I was just stumbling around looking for the coffee and I went, good morning, how are you? And she just started going, wah, 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 like that. And then... I drove to work just thinking, I need a hug. You know, it's like no matter how old we get, I feel like our parents still always have the power to like get in our heads and just... So anyway, that's kind of what's going on in my house these days. I don't know. One point of contention is my mom wants me to take those cats back to the animal shelter and I say on my dead body hell no we'll all I'll take the cats and we'll leave I'm not taking my cats back to the animal shelter okay we need to keep hauling and if you're new to my channel I'm sorry 
we don't usually do this over here. We usually laugh and have a fun time. But things are just rough right now in interpersonal relationships in my family. Okay, the next thing in this haul is the most awesome ever Pac-Man Easter shirt. It is a Pac-Man bunny eating and going after eggs for dots. And I love it so much. It's fabulous. It's my favorite Easter shirt ever in the world ever made and that t-shirt cost who cares what it cost let me tell you what it costs it costs six dollars and 48 cents a mere six dollars and 48 cents so Yay, that was cool. Now, this haul is a lot of shirts. And this is my new best thing I've ever bought on Timu, the end. Okay, but first of all, it is a sweatshirt. It feels a little bit shiny but not over the top like this is the top of a bathing suit shiny but you can look at it and see that it's shiny ish and it has no fleece inside it's just got this rough material so that's a bummer but what it does have on it is mozzarella sticks. <laughs> now that is so random. I just want to know. There are so many. I've, I've got so many questions. Hold on a minute now. Just hold on. It doesn't smell like mozzarella sticks. It's not a scratch and sniff, unfortunately. But I want some mozzarella sticks now. Cheese. Ew, all you see are my crow's feet and some mozzarella sticks. That's not an appetizing combination. Cheese. Okay, anyway. I mean. Okay, I don't know. I would love for this to be my thumbnail, but I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work out or not. I want to know who thought, let's take a picture of some mozzarella sticks and stick them on a, and stick it on a sweatshirt. The end. The end. And naughty. And why? And what is the big deal? And why? I can't wait to wear this around my brother and have him go, what the hell is that? And then both of us will laugh and I will say, someone in China thought it was an awesome idea and I agree. So that right there, we just had a little milestone. That's one of my favorite things I've ever bought on Timu. Even though it's a substandard sweatshirt, but, but mozzarella sticks. Okay, now mozzarella sticks, I believe, is $11.48 or something. Here, I got it right here. $11.98. And you can also get it in green. See, this is much better. I'm not crying. I'm not weeping. I'm not wailing too much about my personal problems. I gave you the Cliff's Notes, Cliff's Notes version of them. Fighting in the, I'm not fighting, but somebody just will not get off my case about every single thing I do in my life and tell me every single thing that's wrong with me, like every single minute of the day, like that's my life for the past week. And it's really starting to kind of rip open my soul a little bit. And it's not a good way to live. I don't like going to sleep at night like this. I don't like waking up in the morning like this. And this is a this is a sweater that I saw on Mimi's Life channel. And 
you're going to say, oh my gosh, that sweater, what the hell? But she tried it on and it looked so cute on her. And it is this trendy wannabe, what is it supposed to trying to be? Machino? I don't know. Bear with all kinds of leopard print shades, with orange, pink, blue, and then graffiti bear newsprint. I can see you guys through it. I would wear this tomorrow with jeans, but I have to be at a Kiwanis Club pancake breakfast at seven in the morning. And by the time this video gets uploaded, it's probably going to be about 11 o'clock. And I'm sorry for that. This is another weird t-shirt that I don't understand. And it feels like they iron this on at customs. It does feel soft though. And it's very strange. It's got a cherub angel with 3D glasses on, just propped on a computer prompt that says, today is your lucky day. Yes, no. I mean, it's just a very random, strange design, and I'm living for those. So that t-shirt was probably, I'm going to say $7.19, because I feel like every t-shirt on Oh my gosh, I almost said wish. Every t-shirt on Timu is like $7.19. Here, let me see if I was right. There it is. And the sweater too. I gotta tell I gotta tell y'all how much that sweater costs too. All right. Hip hop a hip seven dollars and nineteen cents. Okay, and you can get that t-shirt in black also. The sweater, $13.98 is how much it costs. And here's a picture of it on someone much skinnier than me. No, I'm sorry, than I, than I am. Much skinnier. Okay, but look, it looks cute on. Or maybe it looks hideous. I don't know. I liked it. I liked it on... um. Mimi, Diane, I liked it when Diane from Mimi's Life tried it on. It looked cute on her. Okay. So, I met, I met this guy, right? He emailed me out of the blue. And I look, I've been through some stuff. <laughs> I've, I've been through some stuff when it comes to men emailing me out of the blue. I don't trust anymore. I don't trust anybody anymore. But this guy emailed me out of the blue. And we had a nice conversation. And he immediately kind of presented himself as harmless. Not like a catfishing kind of dude. Or anything like that. It didn't send anything filthy. I've gotten some filthy emails, you guys. And and the, he turned out to actually be a handsome man who also likes to shop on Timu. Now he's got a spouse. So, oh well, don't they all? But anyway, he was talking about how he was thinking of starting a YouTube channel. And I said, do it, man, do it, do it. If you want to start a, he's got a spouse, he's got a husband. And I said, do it, man. I don't want you to think I'm talking to some married man behind his wife's back or whatever. Like, no, I'm no threat. I'm not, it's not like, that. it's not like that. He's got a husband. But anyway, I said, do it. Why don't you do it then, dude? Do it, do it. Just do it. Just try it. Why don't you do it? I say that to all of you guys who are like, I'm thinking of starting a YouTube channel, but I'm scared. Look, if I can get on a YouTube channel, and pff, then anybody can. Just put your camera in front of your face and start doing it. Just you, you won't know until you try. Okay, before I finish this story, okay, we're going to stop on a cliffhanger. This is something I bought with the hopes of traveling with it, thinking, well, I bought it as a prospect. 
I thought maybe this has potential from traveling. Now it does come with wheels for traveling. Now it comes with wheels that you put on the bottom of it, okay? It is a duffel bag. It's got a pocket in the back. It's very roomy, but it's not just roomy. So it's roomy like this. Here are the wheel. Let me take out the, here are the wheels. So it's roomy like, you know, this. It's just roomy. It's got zippered, a zippered pocket in here too. And some slip pockets. Words we just never thought we'd be using. And I don't know what I, like, what is the point of this though? I mean, these come unsnapped or snap. I don't know but why. I don't, I don't understand what these things are for. I mean, unless you want to snap them around your luggage thing or I don't, I don't. It's got two, so it's got two zippers at the bottom. So then you can take this one zipper right here. And you can unzip it. And it becomes a little bigger. Okay. All right. And then this bottom one, you can unzip this one. Welcome to how to, uh oh, I'm getting all tangled up in this. Okay. That's all right. You can unzip this one. <laughs> you can unzip this one. And it becomes way tall. Tall like this. Now, this could, I don't know. Because the thing is, is that I could take it like this. Now, if you're new to my channel, hi. Thank you for being new to my channel. I'm sorry. It's a weird tonight it's usually not like down in the dumps kind of weird but I'm just a human being and I have feelings but I am going to Japan if you're new to my channel in a couple of months and um if you're returning of course thank you with all my heart thank you so much for returning I thought well you could take it like this to Japan you know with just the essentials carried on the plane and then you could shop while you're in Japan and then still take it and carry it on the plane and just pray that you find a nice chivalrous gentleman to help lift it over your head into an overhead compartment. Because at this point, at this height, it would won't fit underneath your air, you know, your airplane, the seat in front of you or whatever the, they always tell you to stow your bags before takeoff and all of that stuff and this one you can smush down and cram under the seat in front of you but then if it fills up with shopping so I don't know but the one thing I don't like about it is so it has wheels but I mean there's nothing to really so there's no other strap in here so there's not like I was hoping there would be a much sturdier strap with like even shoulder padding to kind of, if you have to carry this thing, or even if you were going to pull this thing through the airport, like how are you going to pull it? You're just going to grab these handles and kind of pull it along? I don't know, but so it, I mean, it's a maybe, but probably a no. I'm still kind of leaning toward, if you've been watching all my past hauls, I'm leaning toward the green checkered one. Now I gotta zip this thing all back up. So anyway, my friend ish, I mean, I don't know him. I mean, we haven't, I don't know him personally. We just emailed a few times, but he, I was telling him to start his YouTube channel. Just start it. Just try it. Just what have you got to lose? Nothing. And he did. And to my great delight, it turned out to be really funny. And he's got two videos up now. 
on his new YouTube channel. And I want, I keep wanting to call his new YouTube channel Smile at the End of the Day. I don't know why. Smile at the End of the Day. That's not what his channel is called. His channel is called Smile Until It Hurts. I hope. Smile Until It Hurts. That hurt. That did hurt the tendons in my neck like that. Okay, so it's Smile Until It Hurts. He's got two videos up. They're very funny. He drops a lot of names. So I, I recommend going over there, starting with this first video. It's long and luxurious. And he drops a lot of names in it. Of He's been watching the haulers. And he does some really funny impersonations or funny jokes. He does some funny ones about me, funny jokes about all of us. And it made me laugh. And I thought, okay, yeah, this guy's hilarious. This guy is going to zoom right past everybody into the stars. He's going to be drinking mojitos with like twisted gypsy up there on the 40 K mountaintop peaks in like a month. I think Twisted Gypsy, she just hit 40K or she just hit, she just hit some big subscriber number. Good for her. I'm excited for her. And he's going to be right up there because he's hilarious. And so he's got two videos. He, then he had a second video that he put out today and I started watching it at work. It made me feel better because it made me laugh and all day long, I kind of felt like I needed a hug. And I even thought about getting a t-shirt made that said, I need a hug. I need, oh, I'm not trying to, it said, I need a hug. And then just going out onto the streets, wandering around in my I need a hug t-shirt and seeing if anybody would actually come up and say, do you really need a hug here? Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. I might do that. I might get a t-shirt made that said, I need a hug. That could be my merch. Um, anyway, what? So I felt better anyway after watching his video. I didn't get to finish it though because I had meetings, meetings, meetings. I worked really late tonight till like 8 o'clock. I've had like 95 energy drinks. It's going to be a long night for me. But I'm pleased. I'm going to pin his channel in my comments and put it in my description. Could you please go over and just check it out and tell him, you know, I said hey and you will be delighted. I mean, well, you have to understand though, he's just getting started. So he's just kind of, you know, finding his flow, finding his YouTube voice, figuring out who, you know, is getting it all. We're always growing and growing. So he's only, you know, on video number two. So cut him some slack. If there's some, anything you don't like, just let him work it out, work it out, work it out. But I, I guarantee you, he's going to be a big hit. And I feel like I discovered him. No, a bunch of us are fans of his. I said hip hop, the hippity do the hip hip hop. Okay, I like this Easter t-shirt. I like the boom box. I like the bunny. What I don't like is why didn't I get it in a color? <laughs> you, you can get it in a color like yellow. It comes in yellow, which is like a pale yellow. They call it apricot or apricot, whatever you prefer. And um, the font would have stood out much better, but whatever. I said a hip hop, hip to the hop. That's not really how it goes, right? It's called, what is that called? That song is called, oh, come on. I'm going to remember it. Delight, Rapper's Delight, maybe? I don't know, but I got that t-shirt too, because I don't have enough t-shirts and I always have to get t-shirts. Don't ever do that. Why do I keep making that face? Stop it. Stick your neck out. All right, let me try to find the hip hop, the hippie do the hop. 
Mm. Okay. Timu making my life hard. Is that it? I can't tell. I think that's it. I think I found it. I think I found it. I think I found it. Okay, it is $7.49. And I laughed because $7 is pretty much like what t-shirts cost on Timu. Did I say Wish? Timu. Have I been saying Wish? And I really mean it. Okay, here comes one of my new favorite t-shirts. And it feel it's spot on describes my life right now. But I might even wear it to the Kiwanis Pancake Breakfast tomorrow. It's not very professional. But it is casual day at work. So, anyway, it's based on the... <laughs> Based on the novel by Stephen King. And they even got the font, you guys. This is my life right now, though. Based on the novel by Stephen King. I feel like I'm living it. I feel like that's my life right now. So, there we go. That's awesome. I'm going to say it was $7.19. Here it is right here. $7.99. Now, I bet I didn't pay that much for it. That's from some other seller, but, and I don't think I can link all these orders because there are like five orders with one thing, one, two, three, four, five orders with one thing from each order. So if you want to link to something, just shout, just give me a shout in the comments and I'll get you the link. I always do. I work hard to do that. $7.99. Okay, that's what this t-shirt costs. Okay. All right. And then we're almost done. 32 minutes. Okay, I bought this like everyone else. And I know everybody's seen this t-shirt everywhere. So I feel kind of lame. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go downstairs and eat a caramel apple. I have some. And I've been trying not to because I'm trying to slim down just a little bit for my Japan trip. But I might have to cave because it's just been one of those days. This one of those days that a girl goes through when I'm angry inside. Don't want to take it out on you. Okay, it's light gray. Okay, it's $6.48 and it is Don't Be Salty. And, and I accidentally ordered two of these. So I might, I'm trying to figure out a way to do this without getting fired. I might ask my boss if she wants the other one because I think she would think it was funny. But I don't want her to think that I think that she should have it because she, like, I don't want her to think that there's some kind of message that I'm intending for her when I be like, when I'm like, do you want this don't be salty t-shirt? Like, I don't know. The last thing is something that really disappointed me a lot. Okay, first though, I love the color. So let's stick with the positives. I love the color. But it feels like the top of a bikini top. It's like a swimming suit, slick, shiny swimming suit material. Obviously, no fleece inside it's just got that rough inside material and it is it says get in loser and it's an alien sucking up a little cat in its spaceship and sure that part is cute too I mean I don't like I don't like the alien calling the cat a loser though I mean, that's kind of lame. But besides that, it's it's pink. I mean, it's pretty. I don't, am I going to wear it? I, I don't know. And how much did Get In Loser cost? Now I'm stuck on that Rapper's Delight song. I can't do it. 
I can do la di da di. We like to party. We don't cause trouble. We don't bother nobody. We're just some girls that's on the mic. And when we rock up on the mic, we rock the mic right. I can do that. Cringy to hear an old white lady try to rap. I always like to add a little bit of cringe in this these videos just to humanize it even more. Okay, so pink, get in loser, shiny shirt was, it is 1049. You can get it in light pink, you can get it in baby blue, you can get it in red, you can get it in green, you can get it in hot pink, you can get it in black. It's the same color no matter, I mean, it's the same price no matter what color you pick. And that, my friends, is my haul. I know. An alien, a couple of bags, and a bunch of t-shirts and sweatshirts. And a sweater. Am I forgetting anything? No. Got Percy back there judging. Uh, someone asked if I could tell the story of Percy. Wait, I've already said this. Well, the story of Percy is a company sent him to me. A company called Chonker sent me Percy to review. And in fact, I, the link and the promo code have changed for him. But I'll try to remember to put those in my description too. So if you want your own Percy, I have a discount code and a link so you can get him. He's on Amazon, but I've got like, I can hook you up for cheaper than Amazon prices, I think. I don't know. I might be wrong. But um, yeah, Percy, I'll try to put Percy's info in the description too. Okay, it's late. By the time you guys watch this, if anybody watches it, it's going to be like one in the morning. Hold on. Alexa, what time is it? It's 9.25 p.m. Oh, it's going to take an hour to upload it. It's going to take like 30 minutes for the YouTube to run its copyright checks. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I better get busy and I'm going to go get an apple and eat that too. I love and appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for listening to me and all of my little sometimes once in a while if I have a little sob, if I take out my tiny violin and go wah, wah, wah. Um, thanks for listening to that and thank you for checking out my friend's YouTube channel. That means a lot to me and thank you for being here and giving me a thumbs up or hit the thumbs down and say look we want a better attitude next time either way please it lets youtube know that real people are watching my videos and that affects my ad revenue so a thumbs up or a thumbs down really really helps me so please click one of those please click one of those Okay, and thank you for your kind comments down below. And thank you for being here. I love and appreciate you guys so much. I can't say it enough. So here comes your Darth Vader kiss. And I will hopefully talk to you tomorrow. I hope when you're watching this, that you're having a great evening, morning, afternoon, whenever. I hope it's good. Cheers to a better tomorrow. And if today sucked, that's what we say. We say cheers to a better tomorrow. All right, fingers crossed. Now I, I gotta know how do I stop this thing?